Um, right. Catfish and the Bottlemen. We've, again, touched on them. So I'm just going to, before you launch into a scathing attack against the band, I'm just going, <laughs> I am just going to get a brief, short history of what's actually happened with them. And, yeah, okay. and, why, and why it's news that they're, they're coming back. So it was March 2021, wow. I think, that, <laughs> that Companies House changed. So band members have resigned from Companies House. Mm-hmm. The band were keeping quiet. Um, and then they had headline sets at Reading Leeds, Neighbourhood Weekender, and I think Swansea. So they were playing like an outdoor show. And yeah. they just didn't say anything for the whole time. And then... yeah. But they performed those headline sets, still didn't say anything, then cancelled shows with Stereophonics, um, and they announced Bob and Bondi, who were the ones who resigned, announced their departure on... That's the drummer and the the rhythm guitarist, is it? Yes, yeah, yeah. So they announced that they were were leaving. They (laughs) described it as circumstances beyond their control, dysfunctional relationships, and reoccurring intolerable behaviour. Oh, they were then announced to headline Reading and Leeds this year. Yeah, that was what the end of last year. Yes, yeah, so the, the back end of last year. And uh, remember, they've not said anything at this point, so it's mm. a bit of a no communication whatsoever. Um, and another band that has quite a loyal fan base, a similar fan base to what we were just discussing, really. Um, <clears throat> and no communication. They're going to headline. Don't know who's in the band anymore. And then they've just released lots of posters and teasers about yeah, 22nd some, of February um, showtime. Around, around Manchester this this weekend, in fact. Uh, okay. Big sort of back to the graft, uh, which yes. immediate, immediately made me sort of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's turned out that that is one of the lyrics of the song, I think, from uh, the yeah, release, yeah. release of the clip. But anyway, well, think, so what, think... what, what, what are your thoughts about the whole saga? <laughs> well, it seems like and you know, Catfish are kind of a complex one for me personally. I used to really, really like them. I was really into them and with the first album. And I kind of like the second record. I saw them a few times around that sort of time and that period and loved it. And then sort of went off them somewhat with the third record. And for me, you know, we sort of spoke about this a little earlier. It feels to me like they've just rehashed the same stuff over it over again. And Personally, I kind of felt like I just sort of grew out of them a little bit, as as you might with bands that you're into as a teenager. Some stick, some don't. Um, but the saga and everything around the members and stuff, and I've, I've read little bits on on Reddit on the on the Catfish and the Bottlemen uh, subreddit to kind of just try and find out a little bit more. It just all seems like a bit like is Van a diva? Is kind of what I've 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 taken yeah. from that. And yeah. is he? Like you know, got his big rock style boots on and is throwing his toys out the pram, yeah. which I think when you're like Mick Jagger, you kind of have a bit of license to do that. <laughs> but when you're Van McCann and you've written three albums that are the same, like get over yourself, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know that is definitely the what comes out of it from what the what they've said. It, it does go back to him. Um. But for me, it's the lack of communication. It's just not say it, it just a complete disregard. I, d- I don't mind the mystery when you just uh, you between albums, just do it, mm. having a blackout. I, I actually think it benefits bands when they do that. Yeah, well, this is it. Whilst it seems it's kind of a, a dick move to fans, I think, especially people who had paid money, you know, expecting to see them uh, and mm. didn't get a chance to do that. But it's kind of worked massively in their favor as like a marketing tool. Yeah. In that there, I you know, as long as I have been a fan of that band, I don't I don't remember anywhere near this much kind of hype and discussion around it. Yeah, well, that, what's one of my one of my mates said to me actually? He was like, um, third album. I think everyone felt a bit the same. It was like the elements of it that were good, but it was it was the same as the second. <laughs> it didn't feel like it progressed. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he said, after all this had gone on and everything had passed, time had passed by. He was like, I'm actually quite excited about them in a weird way <laughs> like they seem exciting again yeah i don't know if that's just a nostalgia thing though you know it's uh... yeah i don't yeah but... but i mean i saw i saw them on that tour on the balance tour in oh what was it wembley arena and i was just like so disappointed with it i just mm. was really like let down in every conceivable way you know they didn't 
they did some of the old stuff when they did it wasn't it wasn't great it sort of seemed to me like the hearts went in it maybe that was and you know i'm just totally sort of um this is sort of half remembered nonsense for anyone who's listening but it, i don't know if that maybe is sort of the start of fractures within the band if they're mm. playing and touring and don't really have their hearts into it and they're not really behind it could that sort of be cracks emerging who knows but they went away for a long time not long after that um but but yeah it kind of the whole thing just sort of left me a bit sour about it and have since gone off gone right off them um yeah, yeah. Uh, but i'll be interested to hear have you heard the snippet of the new song yeah it sounds a bit bassy doesn't it? it i don't know whether they're gonna go down the peace route and just have him and him and Benji, the bassist, who's... I think that lo- they are the only two original members in the new setup. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's definitely in it because from all the little videos they've done, they, they've edited the other two out, but he's yeah. he's remained. But he was... He did resign. He was in that initial company's house ah, okay. resignation. Um, and then I, yeah, I imagine he's paid them an awful lot of money to perform at Reading and Leeds <laughs> as, as, uh, as band members. Because I think that's what Bondi said. He was like, uh, we were just mm-hmm. session session musicians, essentially, for that. But I agree. I think the balance tour must have been, there must be stuff going on, must have been stuff going on in the background. Um, but yeah, I, I'm intrigued to hear, hear what the, I hope it sounds fresh. I hope it's not more of the same. Um, I'm not convinced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued. But what what do you think about them carrying on? It, so if if it is everything's true that we know, mm. do you think he should have just gone gone it alone? Do you think they could have called time on the band then when two I don't members? No, are... and it depends, kind of, I suppose, on where he is. In that maybe he feels like he wouldn't have the same sort of backing if it was just Van McCann doing mm. his, you know, his Van McCann, his my album. But if it's mm. Catfish and the Bottom End Project. That that in and itself creates like a buzz and hype as as we have seen. Yeah. So I wonder if it's you know, and I don't know, it depends obviously who's in the band and everything and how they kind of work it out. But I think maybe it's uh and I might be being too cynical, but it's like a marketing tactic, a little hype maneuver yeah. just to get people, you know, as buzzed about it as, as possible. I th- I think the marketing on it's been genius. <laughs> it's, oh yeah, it's worked. yeah. It's really it's worked. Nice. It's worked. They've they've signed up to. I think they've got a new team from. They've definitely got a new team in America because I know they've mm-hmm. been the same thing's been happening in like New York and places like that. Yeah, uh, they've yeah, got yeah. a new live live management company in America. But um, so I I think they've done it perfectly. So it's just what they deliver with, uh, and who's there? Who who's going to be in the band? I don't know. Yeah, well, see, I wonder if they will announce them as new members or if it will just be. You know the the two guys plus then session musicians, yeah. And, and I don't know. This is it. I I heard the snippet and was immediately sort of like, okay, all right, right, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we will see. I guess. Yeah. I wonder what venues they'll play as well because they're coming back to a headline set at Reading and Leeds, which quite questionable. That's with a big set. Yeah, with with everything that's going on. So that that actually with two people would be very strange if, if they are going down that route so maybe it is full band but i would be, i would be shocked if it is just two people yeah but <laughs> i wonder if they they'll... could do like a royal blood thing get van on the drums and benji on the bass <laughs> i wonder if they'll do what i was thinking in terms of general and kasabian obviously ousted tom mayan mm-hmm. and they kind of went back a couple of steps in terms of yeah. what they were doing venue wise i'd be interested to see if they do that but again, it depends on on the lineup of the the band. Yeah, I think so. But then you know, there's it's different. It's very different doing a headline slot at Reading and Leeds to then selling out a run of arenas, because you know that, that's big stuff. And they, that's what they were doing before the the split. You know, like I said, I saw them at Wembley Arena, and I don't remember if it was sold out, but it was pretty full. You know, it was a pretty full house. Um, yeah. I wonder if maybe they might be doing stuff like the Co-op Arena in Manchester. That's mm. um. You know, you'll pay like 110 pounds. 